so this is my Metal Slug character in Unreal Engine. So he's got a shader on him with a duplicated mesh to give him an outline and kind of like a cartoon look to make him look more 2D. So you can see in game he kind of looks like this. So he's got a blueprint with an idle animation that transitions into a running animation with his gun. And you can kind of run across the bridge environment that I've created here as well. I just gave him the outline so that he stands out amongst everything else. Uh, the things on the outside here are from the Unreal Marketplace, I didn't make these. The rocks and the plants, and then the 2D background is just a metal slug background that I found online. So for the character, he has his shaders on him that I can show in the viewport here in the blueprint. So you can see the outline. Without the outline, he kind of looks like this. And the outline shader basically flips the mesh so that only the outside normals are being shown, I think. I got it from a tutorial online. And you can also change the width here. So you can have a different width of outline. And that's on the gun as well, but it doesn't work from all angles with the gun. And then the character shader. He has his base material like this and that goes through all this code which I also got from a tutorial online which I can reference so you can change things like the band depth and the tint for two different shadows on the mesh which is like calculated from this so you can change like the shadow depth in here and you can see it just makes that a bit bigger And then just so it's only the base colour detail and we don't get any shadows and reflections that we don't want for the tune shader, the roughness and the metallic values are predetermined, so they're just with constants. And then the normal detail is transferred for the, the baked detail in the mesh. And you can also play this in the mobile preview. And you get like a, a touch screen control here. Thank you. Hope you like it.